Ever wondered about the dark secrets behind Halloween's ghoulish traditions? Well, it all started with the ancient Celtic festival, Samhain. This festival marked the end of the bountiful harvest season and welcomed the darker half of the year. As the leaves fell and the days grew shorter, the Celts believed that the boundary between our world and the world of spirits became blurred. As the veil between the living and the dead was believed to be thinnest, Samhain was a time of communicating with the dead and predicting the future. Halloween isn't all about costumes and candies. It's also steeped in some pretty eerie traditions. As we delve deeper into the shadowy past of Halloween, we unearth practices that might raise a few eyebrows today. Take divination games, for instance. In ancient times, these were played with an eerie seriousness, believed to predict one's future, particularly concerning love and marriage. Fortune-telling was another intrinsic part of Halloween's past, with many seeking to unlock the mysteries of the future on this spooky night. Superstitions, too, found a fertile ground in Halloween. Black cats, for example, were considered to be shape-shifted witches, while meeting a spider on Halloween was viewed as a visit from a deceased loved one. Now, let's talk about some of the classic Halloween symbols. The pumpkin, a vibrant symbol of harvest, is transformed into a menacing jack-o'-lantern, but did you know this tradition was meant to ward off evil spirits? That's right. The Celts believed that the grotesque faces carved into pumpkins could frighten away malevolent entities. Witches and skeletons too have their roots in ancient beliefs. Witches were thought to gather on Halloween to summon the devil, while skeletons symbolized the fine line between life and death, a theme deeply intertwined with the essence of this holiday. So, the next time you carve a pumpkin, Remember you're partaking in an age-old tradition to ward off evil spirits. From a Celtic festival to a commercialized holiday, Halloween has evolved over centuries. Let's start with the trick-or-treat tradition. Originally, it was a way to appease spirits and ward off pranks. The ancient Celts believed that during Samhain, the boundary between the worlds of the living and the dead became blurred. They would leave food and drinks outside their homes to keep the spirits content and prevent them from entering their homes. Moving forward to the Middle Ages, we see the association of witches with Halloween. This was a time of witch hunts, and Halloween provided the perfect backdrop for these fears to play out. People believed witches could communicate with the dead, making them both revered and feared. This association has stuck around, making witches a staple of Halloween imagery. In the modern era, Halloween has become a commercial extravaganza. Costumes, candy and spooky decorations have taken center stage. Retail stores stock up on all things Halloween months in advance, and consumers spend billions of dollars each year to celebrate in style. It's a far cry from the simple Samhain celebrations of the Celts. Yet, despite its commercialization, the essence of Halloween, remembering the dead and warding off evil spirits, still remains. The jack-o'-lanterns we carve and the costumes we wear all have roots in ancient practices designed to protect us from harm and honor those who have passed. Despite its commercialization, the essence of Halloween, remembering the dead and warding off evil spirits, still remains. Like any holiday, Halloween isn't without its controversies. Over the years, concerns have arisen about the potential for cultural appropriation, as Halloween costumes often borrow elements from different cultures. While it's all in good fun to dress up as a character from a favorite movie or book, it's crucial to avoid caricaturing or stereotyping cultures that aren't our own. A nuanced understanding of this issue helps ensure that Halloween remains a celebration of creativity and imagination, not a platform for cultural insensitivity. On another note, Halloween's environmental impact is also a point of debate. The holiday generates a significant amount of waste, from disposable costumes and decorations to candy wrappers. Some argue that the commercialization of Halloween has led to unnecessary environmental harm. While celebrating, it's also important to stay respectful of different cultures and mindful of our environment. As we revel in the spookiness, let's not forget to consider the real-world implications of our Halloween traditions. Now that you know the dark secrets behind Halloween's ghoulish traditions, it's time to share your experiences. Perhaps you've participated in some of these ancient practices, unknowingly carrying on centuries-old traditions, or maybe You've forged your own Halloween customs, adding your personal touch to this spectral celebration. Whether it's an unforgettable trick-or-treat tale, a spooktacular costume creation, or a chilling encounter with the supernatural, we're eager to hear about it.
What's your favorite Halloween tradition or spooky story? Share your thoughts and experiences in the comments below.